Two common mistakes I see from all levels of photographers are images that are out of focus or blurry due to camera shake. And recently, I made both of those mistakes and I was able to fix them. So let me show you how. So here I have an image of my daughter and it's one of my favorites. Unfortunately, I didn't place the focus point on her eye and due to the shallow depth of field, her eye is out of focus. Thanks to artificial intelligence, I was able to improve the sharpness of her eyes and I'll explain how I did that in a second. So check this out. Boom, much sharper than before, wouldn't you agree? Now I did retouch her skin in this particular edit and that's a video tutorial for another day. So I will show you how I did this sharpening of her eye in just a second. First, let's take a look at this next image of a seagull that I captured on a cold, stormy day. It's not exactly an amazing photo by itself and it probably will not win me any awards, but that's okay because I like it. The problem with this particular image is I was using my 200 to 500 zoom lens, which is heavy in and of itself, and I didn't use a shutter speed fast enough to eliminate camera shake. So the seagull is blurry or has some motion blur. In a way, you could say that the motion blur adds to the story of the image since it's getting ready for takeoff. But what if you wanted to remove the motion blur? Well, let's take a look here. We're going to zoom in and here's the final result. Boom, much improved. Wouldn't you agree? So in GIMP, we can go to our enhancement filters and use sharpen to fix it. Maybe. So let's check it out. Enhance and sharpen unsharp mask. So we have three different sliders here to try and sharpen the image. So radius is going to increase the size of the grain or the digital noise. It's not really sharpening it. If we increase the amount, it's going to begin sharpening the edges of the details in the image and it gives the appearance that it's becoming sharper. But that digital noise again is becoming much more prominent. So let's go ahead and drop that back down. But now the image isn't as sharp as it was before. So this really isn't a solution for this image. And I suspect if we go ahead and do this here, and let's try this one, I think we're going to get the same results with the sharpen tool in GIMP. So increase the radius and then the amount. And again, her skin is looking really unnatural. The eyelashes are sharper. We could create a mask on this layer so that we can take that edit off of the entire image except for her eyelashes, but I don't think it's going to be as good as what I did here. So let me show you how I did this, but first I have a question for you. Do you want to improve your images and do so faster than what we can do in GIMP? If so, to get these kind of results, you need to use other software. In this case, I have an app called Sharpen AI and check this out. Boom. Perfectly sharpened eyes. The lips are sharper and the skin is sharper too. But we can quickly remove where the edit is being applied by adjusting and refining the mask that will be created once we turn on this feature right here. And then I can click on refine, use the subtract brush, and then I can begin painting away from the area that I want to remove that edit. Of course, I would spend a little more time doing this, but if we click update, definitely much improved. So I would, for this particular image, or when I did this edit, I actually applied the mask only on her eye here and her lips, nothing else. Now, for the next image here, we get different results. It's not as good in this particular app, so we have to use a different app for this particular image. And that's because the amount of digital noise in this image is not helping create a sharp image. So as you can see, it's not as sharp as what I showed you just a second ago. So let's take a look at the other app here. And this one is called Topaz Photo AI. And this one does a much better job of removing the digital noise and sharpening the image. And boom, look at that. It's crystal clear. You cannot get this particular type of result with GIMP. You have to use other software sometimes in order to fulfill your creative vision and to get quality images at the same time. 
And you can see that these two apps, even though it's from the same company, we have completely different results. So you have to choose your software according to what you need to achieve, not based on what you want to use all the time. Yes, we may want to use GIMP, but there's other software out there that's better than GIMP that will give us better results and better quality. And if you want to try out this software, you can check out the link in the description below to try it out for free for 30 days. Watch this video next to discover the best way to upscale your images for maximum quality.